Thanks for tuning in to the next part of a van build. In this video, I'm gonna go over how I installed the solar panel on the roof of my van. When I was transferring the footage from my camera over to my computer, some of it seemed to disappear into nothingness. So I don't have all of the footage, but I can still show you what I have gotten done. So first of all, you know, I worked out exactly where I wanted the solar panel on the roof to go. Um, and so I have a pretty much dead center in the middle of the van. Um, it means there's enough space between the solar panel and the window in the back, but if I ever wanted to do anything on the front, if for example I want to put another skylight or even a second solar panel for more power, I have the whole front of the van, um, so I've got loads of space to work with. When I had the solar panel up on the roof and I knew where I wanted it to go, um, I just used tape to measure around the edges of it so that I knew where the mounts were going to be. And then I used the mastic sealer tape just to fill up the grooves where the, the van roof would be uneven. Once I knew everything was going to be level, um, I had to work out where I was going to put the wires in. So luckily I had some little plastic plugs that were in the roof from the factory. So there was one right beside where the wires were coming out from the solar panel. So I didn't need to drill a hole directly to the metal. I just got a big drill bit and plugged a hole straight down through the plastic. And that means I don't have to worry about putting in a rubber grommet or rust forming around it because it's already done. I also got a junction box um, with waterproof glands on it so that I just feed the cables through this box and then they go down through the hole. So I just feed them through and then attach the cables on that end to the solar panel cables um, and just measure everything, see where everything goes and make sure that I'm happy with it. Um, I used little sticky back mounts and stuck them to the roof of the van where I'm cable tying them on. Now I'm using cheap cable ties at the moment that will probably break down in the UV light over time because I just don't have um, access to the good quality ones with everything being closed because of the COVID-19 restrictions at the moment so I will replace them as soon as I get the chance. Once I was happy with where everything was um, and the length of the cables uh, that's when I just drilled small pilot holes into each mount on the roof through the plastic and down to the roof using a small drill bit um, and then took the solar panel back off and then drilled the larger holes for the stainless steel six millimeter bolts that I'm using. With the bolt holes done, um, I brought the solar panel back up onto the roof and then what I did was I applied a um, mounting sealer again around the feet of the, the mounts for the solar panel and then plonked everything down and put the whole bolts through the holes. To secure it on the inside of the van, rather than just using another bolt and a washer, I used, it looks a little bit like a rivet but it's a rubber with a threaded brass insert on the other side of it. So when the bolt goes down through it and you twist it, it tightens, it starts to squish down and then actually creates a watertight seal against the roof and the bolt inside it and holds it nice and snug. And then finally, once everything was down, I just went around the edges of all the mounts again with the, the sealer just just around the edges of it to make sure that all the bits of mastic tape were covered up and just everything was nice and neat and there was no way any water could get in underneath and get trapped. So thanks for watching, that's how I went about installing the solar panels. Now I have the wires running in and I did test everything to see if it works, but I haven't gotten the inside of the van completed yet. So when I figure that all out and where I want to mount everything and install this, the wires and the circuitry, then I'll go over how I go about doing that. If you want to follow along with my build process for my van, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. 